Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to take you on a tour of the first floor of my new house. If you like these videos, then make sure to keep on watching. All right, so this is the front door, the back of the front door. I don't know if you can see through the curtain. Um, but there, that is kind of like our front porch area. It goes more around that way. That's some stained glass, and we're trying to figure out where it came from. This is some ice that's inside of my window. Fun, isn't it? Uh, and this is my door uh, my doorbell the other side has a crank on it and it makes like a it won't do it now it makes a ringing sound but anyway so there are this is the floor that's on there that is Jude being a pain in my butt oh you're so cute though you're so cute though. so when you walk in this is to you're right, those are some things that we have to return to Ikea. There's this little thing with a super high tech. Oh, and this is more of the porch. You can see it out there. Um, so we have some weird wood paneling for some reason. That's all Thai stuff. This lovely wallpaper. <laughs> um, that's my stuff and then we um, recently painted all of the door jams and all of the, um, like we repainted the front of this. We painted this. Um, this is a green agate from Home Depot from the Marquee collection, the paint and primer in one. And it's a semi-gloss finish. And in here, some boot bags and the little hanger for our front door for the wreaths and you can see that there's some sort of laminate blue tile down there <laughs> so we have to we want to go and we want to totally fill this in with wood get it really nice looking um especially because we don't know why but there's like a vent on here so we don't know if like air actually comes in here or not and then hi um this is like a little hook system this is where ella hangs up her backpack and stuff like that and then here is where um we put like mail that has to go out or paperwork that we have to do for instance this is ty's like driver's license renewal and he keeps his hand cream here um and underneath this is more of this but we're not ready to do this yet so and then this is just what we have um, it's a little messy right now, but you know, this is life. So then we have this really pretty door um, and it has glass on it so that we have insulation. This is what most of the doorknobs look like in here. Um, we have a register and basically we roughly finished the floor. We think that we're actually going to have to um, stain the floor a uh, darker color because of how worn it is, but that's for another day. So uh, we have these lights overhead. Um, these were original to the house, 1903, and they've been modern, um, they, they were wired, rewired in modern times by actually one of our neighbors about 30 or 40 years ago. And we'll go into the living room first. This is my messy, messy living room. <laughs> Please excuse it. Um, we have our TV. We don't really have anything in here. And as you can tell, it's very dusty because we're actually about to move this out of here. We're going to mount the television up and put a shelf underneath it to put the PlayStation and the little VR thing um, and the controller, the controller chargers um, on there this is my house all messed up from animals but normally these chairs are nicely placed and this is like a little rug in here 
Ella had a blanket for it up this morning, so I had to tear that down. This is Jude and Gabe and Maple. Oh, look at all of you. You're so cute. Um, so the curtains, we actually made these tie backs out of the old chains for the light fixtures. Um, so you can see there. And also in the dining room, there's uh, the light fixtures on chains. And so we made these little tie backs out of them. And I don't know if you can really see, but this is more of that like deep, deep green and really emerald green. And I have a plant over here. This is, I bought the cactus and then I spray painted the glass mug copper. And it kind of just lives there and chills there. These are two lamps that we had from the old house, old, old houses. Those are from Shiloh. Um, the couch is definitely worse for wear. It's a very old couch, but I can't do anything about that. That's a picture that my friend made of Gabe. And then we come into the dining room. What is eventually going to happen is we're actually going to be, we found two um, doors in the storage um, attic and we're going to put the uh we're gonna put the sliding doors and on this side we think we're gonna make them blue but i haven't decided yet i don't know yet um so i think i might paint them just like white or cream to begin with and then the other side is gonna be bright green and when we get a new couch it's gonna be like tannish beige still over here we just have this little cabinet for right now it has some like memorial collective things in it. Um, and I just put some little cheapy decorations on the top with a candle that for the month. Um, I have to paint this dark. I want it to match that shelf right there. And I obviously have to clean up the glass and stuff like that. And then we're probably actually going to move this from this corner over here to that corner over there. As you can see, we have Nice big walls. These curtains are a nice deep blue. Um, you see maple? This is um, our most of our dining room set. We are missing a chair from down there because it's in the games room because we had guests over. And then this is where Ella sits. We got this big cushion for her. Um, because it really helps just like prop her, give her a little bit of extra height. More curtains. That's the backyard. That's the church right there. Um, and um, that's a car shelter that Ty and I built. And that's our well. Um, and it's actually really cool because these are actually on a pulley. These windows are on a pulley system. But the sashes, as you can see, broke but we're hoping to be able to fix them this summer. I also have been teaching myself to play piano. So these were these are the floors. Again, original to the house. They were just finished by professional, so obviously not us. Um, and then we also have some of these really nice old registers. So that's really pretty. Uh, I'm here. This is the hallway to the kitchen. Um, so... This is the washroom. I'll turn the light on for you guys. Um, this is where the washer and dryer are. This is, that's our medicine cabinet where all of our first aid stuff and our medicine is. This is a big old task sink that is right now filled with green paint because we just got done painting stuff. And there used to be a huge, um, not halogen. What are those called? Are they, are they called halogen? I can't remember the big long tube bulbs, but basically they were up there and the light fixture didn't work anymore. So we had to fix it. And this was literally the only thing because that's where the hole is to mount the whole thing. So maybe eventually we'll get something better, but I don't know. Right now that's the best we've got. And um, no, Maple, you can't go to the hole. window back here as you can see 
they just cut away some of the ceiling in order to put the pipes through. So I'm gonna paint, well, I'm gonna clean up the cuts first off. I'm hoping to be able to put some sort of like tape or something like that that I can just, stop it, Judy. Um, I'm hoping to like tape it up or something like that. Stop. And then paint the pipes. So you can see this is more of the back yard. Um, be able to get the bird feeder up, that sort of thing. Have to fix the sashes on these windows as well. This is the door to the basement, which we will not be going into today. Um, and then this is the kitchen. So I'll give you a quick overview. Um, so garbage can, some decorations. That's where like maple eats. Those are all, those cabinets are nice and full. Um, that's the door that leads out to the main hallway. Um, if you guys want a full in-depth kitchen tour, like what is in every single cabinet and every single everything in my house or in this kitchen, not the house, um, I can do that. I can do like in-depth stuff. Um, so the only thing right now, okay, I shouldn't say the only thing because basically eventually we want to replace the fridge. This is the fridge that came with the house. As you can tell, it is pretty small, but it's actually working well for us. We just want it in slate, which is what those appliances are right there because slate is so good. It looks so clean all the time and I just really like it. And then all of the cabinets, I'm going to be painting like a light blue gray color um, and not a light blue gray, kind of like a medium blue gray color and eventually that's going to get replaced with either a slate one or a black one. Um, and um, yeah, the ceiling fan's probably going to get either replaced with a different ceiling fan or um, I'm at least going to paint it. I like the hardware in here. It's all... Um, like bronze slash brass. Obviously it's fake. Hey, it's a kitten. Hello, kitten. Um, obviously it's fake, but I like the look of it and I think it's gonna stand, really stand out against a nice blue-gray color. And eventually, eventually we want to retile in here. We wanna put actual tile in here. Um, something very kind of similar, honestly, um, but right now this is just laminate and you can tell it's just stained in some areas, like right there. That was like from when before we got here. So um, there's still, you know, we're definitely still ironing some things out. This is our side yard with our neighbors. You can see our neighbors right there and there. But we have a bit of a side yard. And um, you can see like this is where I keep like my everyday cup and my everyday mug and my shakers and stuff like that. I do need to find a better spot because I do use them five days a week, if not every single day, especially because I have multiple cups of tea every day. Um, so I don't know, maybe we're gonna have to reorganize some of the cabinets. I have a couple of cactuses. Um, and then over here, these are the butler stairs. We do not have a butler, obviously, but if you, um, these stairs will be painted. We're gonna still keep this like non-stick thing. These stairs are absolutely, dirty and dingy and no matter what i do i cannot clean them <laughs> it's very frustrating but basically this goes up to ella's playroom um so we're also going to see if we can find um some better transitions for this and also we think that there's some sort of wood or something like that that leads into here we have no clue what to do about this um, Ty has to take a sander to this bit again because you can see it's really splotchy um, because he was in a rush and basically he just stained up to that or just put a gloss over up to that line. Um, and then this is where the dogs eat. Their bowls are a little disheveled right now because they had breakfast. Um, but this is where the dogs eat. This door right now goes to nowhere and we honestly don't know if we want to just brick it up or if it's gonna be better to um, 
like get a good outside door like an insulated door because this door is not insulated um get a good insulated door for this and um and also put like stairs and a porch and stuff like that because there's like a four or five foot drop <laughs> over here um eventually basically my plan is to patch up these cracks over here and hang up these hooks and then in here this is where judy this is where Maple uses the washroom, so we have like her mat and stuff like that out, and you can see very, very well, a lot better than I can actually, um, that this was just totally scribbled and colored in, and that there's plaster damage that's just been duct taped and stuff like that. So this floor, this little section of the floor is gonna be painted, I don't know what color, some color, and there's like stuff like this in general that just kind of has to get, you know, replaced and sanded. We're going to put a door on here and with a little cat door in it so that Maple can get in. And we also are going to either get a bulb for this light or replace it so that she can have a light in there. And then we are back to the main living room. The last room in here may be the most exciting. <laughs> um, but... It is the games room. So I know this is getting really long, so I'm not going to go into detail in the games room. If you want to know anything, what we did, what we, if we plan on doing anything else, please let me know. If you want a game, a board game collection video, um, please let me know. If you want like an in-depth shelf by shelf tour, please let me know. This is one of the original light fixtures that was rewired. It is beautiful. It reminded us of a dragon egg, so we put it in here. Um, and over here, I think I'm gonna put a map or two of maybe like the Hogwarts grounds or um, the map of um, Zelda or something like that. Um, and uh, you can see I have a map of um, the province of Skyrim over there. And there's these beautiful windows. Um, again, this floor, yeah, it does have gloss on it, but what we think we're gonna do is we think that we're going to, to sand it down again, just with a really, really fine sandpaper. And then we're gonna stain it dark so that it looks like a tavern floor, more for the tavern-esque feel um you know adventures you can tell that this is like double paned i'm hoping that i'm going to be able to get this window open because it does have this like latch here i'm hoping i'm going to be able to get this window open and then maybe put like plants or something like that in there during the summer i don't know i'm also hoping i'm going to be able to get those outward windows open we'll see this is one of my plants i have yet to name her this I'm actually really freaking upset about. I paid seven dollars for this tiny terrarium at Mrs. Tiggy Winkle's, and it like never, it never did anything. It never like bloomed or sprouted or anything like that. So these are all my two read books. Um, I'm actually on a no book buy until I, for the whole year until I read all of these books. So pray for me. Um, and then this is some of our front yard. I don't know if you'll be able to really see, but that's our neighbor's fence. And then this is some of our front yard and you can see some of the porch out there. Family calendar, a desk. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna paint this um, maybe just black or something like that, or I don't know what, because you can see it's just like a laminate desk but it has craft stuff all over it. And I just think it's gonna look a little nicer and neater if I'm able to paint it um ty has some like electronic stuff and soldering stuff our computer that's something that my bet oh, one of my best friends painted um he's a solid ass dude um yeah and then we are back to the front door so that's it people that's the whole thing 
all right so that is it that is the entire first floor next time i don't know if i'll do the extension the basement and the attic or if i'll do the second story let me know also if you want to see the outside of the house then let me know that as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did it would make me so happy if you gave it a big thumbs up also subscribing really helps my channel grow and i'd really appreciate it if you were to subscribe that way you'll get notified every single time i post any sort of house tour decor sort of videos and don't forget to share this with your friends who like Queen Anne revivals, why not? I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.